Hey everyone, this is Chirag from DCOnCloud.com. In this video, we are going to spin up Windows Server 2012 in Singapore region. Before spinning the server, you need to have a valid AWS account, which you can create by visiting this link aws.amazon.com. Account creation will take few minutes and account activation will take few hours. After you will successfully activated your account, you can log in. After login, you will see the AWS management console like this. The first important step is to choose the right region. Right now I am in Singapore. I selected Singapore because this region is closest to me. You can choose the region which will be closest to you. So then select the EC2 option from all services from this uh, menu or drop down or also from here. You can also select EC2. There are many ways or shortcut available in the management console to select any service. So I'm just clicking on the services, selecting under compute EC2. So important thing in this that Windows Server is a proprietary or licensed product by Microsoft. But the value of cloud here is you will get the license included from AWS. You don't need to worry about or you don't need to buy the separate license from Microsoft or you need to apply then that can be the option that is available but that is the video for some other day. Today we are going to launch a instance which will include the Windows, 20, uh, Windows Server 2012 license in it. So this is the EC2 dashboard and AWS is constantly updating their user experience or the portal uh, graphics so it may may change according to when you will watch this video so we are going to first uh, click on the instances and this is a fresh account there is no nothing uh, existed or here so we will start from the scratch so let's click on the launch instance you can click here or here both are the same options once you click on this uh, launch instance button then you will see there are around seven steps it is mentioned here six are which we need to follow and seventh is the review one so the first step it is asking about choose the amazon machine image it is nothing but the operating system or the base operating because this is a virtualized environment and we need to select like which operating system we want that will be spent on the hypervisor so you can see in this list amazon is providing us uh, its own amazon linux or red hat open suze ubuntu and then you will be able to see microsoft windows server 2019 base so base mean like this is a bare minimum operating system no uh, customized or pre-installed applications are there so you in this list we will find many many instances because 2019 is a new one so that is also available here and uh, as we are going to plan for 2012 let's figure out quickly where is 2012 it is little bit older one but this is still one of my favorite windows server operating system so here i am able to see it is there windows microsoft windows server 2012 r2 base so also here it is mentioned that this is a free tier eligible i believe most of the people aware about aws is providing or most of the cloud not from not only about the aws most of the cloud provider is giving some kind of uh, trial or free uh, free tier in which in under certain limit you can play you can learn about the platform you can understand about their services in the same way amazon is providing the uh, providing this even when i started learning about uh, cloud i i uh, i always try to make sure that i will be under some in free tier so that my bill will not burn and uh, but uh, how maximize i can learn from these free tier services so just having more uh, maybe you can see some windows server including sql licenses also there so they are providing the sql um, microsoft sql server licenses included in the uh, in the package or in the operating uh, in this uh, ami so but we don't require right now sql server we are not going to spin or uh, work on any database today so let's select the 
Windows Server 2012 base. So I'm just going to select, going to the next option. In this uh, section, it is asking for the size. Another important thing is uh, just to add that uh, not every operating system or application is available in every region. So it depends. Most famous things are available but uh, it may or may not available in the region if you select something so make sure that you check the documentation on that the same apply on the instance type maybe some instances are available let's say in the us region or european region but possibly may not be available in any apac region so depend upon what kind of size or where you are located and where you want to spin your environment so on this page we can select the size size is available from range multiple ranges multiple processor generation multiple networking properties so we are going to stick today with t2 micro mi uh, micro which is under free tier eligible another important thing uh, okay after spinning this i will cover a one to uh, uh, one discussion on the limits so let's select this t2 micro and let's go to the next step in this step there are hell lot of options but we don't need to worry about it today we will cover it slowly slowly in the near future videos so here it is asking how many instances you want to spin up let's say i want to launch five instance or ten instance in just a single request so i can fill that purchasing option as it depends upon purely on the pricing we will cover in some later video in networking that is again the base or most important part but uh, by default every region come with the one default network so we are going to stick with the same we are not going to cover on the vpc part today subnet subnet every because subnet is having a uh, availability zone level scope so it is giving that in this uh, singapore region there are three availability zone each availability zone is having a one subnet so i'm going to select today ap southeast 1a so it it is selected auto assigning public because we are going to do it's a windows server we are going to do the rdp we are going to see the look and feel of windows server 2012 so yes we want ipv uh, sorry uh, i public ip so let it enable okay placement groups maybe we will cover in some other video capacity reservation we don't need to worry we don't we are not going to join this with any active directory because aws provides the manage active directory services or we can have our own active directory i am role maybe not today and just important part here is tenancy tenancy again by default it's a shared environment if okay another important thing is because windows server and aws is supported bring your own license model keep remember it will maybe help for your exam preparation and as well as the practical world that bring your own license for operating system will not work on shared tenancy for that there are the different model of dedicated host or dedicated instance that is the topic for some another day so we are just going to stick with share tenancy today and license will be included and provided by aws so not going to touch on any the any of these option no user data no networking interface for today going to the storage part okay this is another important because windows operating system is taking around 22 or 20 gb of storage so this is uh, at least it is 30 gb is selected and another here you can see the mention is that under free tier we are getting this 30 gb general purpose which is a ssd based storage including windows license t2 micro size free for a year that is applicable on the fresh account on the new account so make sure if you really want to stick under limits make sure these number while creating your instance so i am going to stick with the same number so 30 gb is more than enough for us today because we are not going to install any application in the tagging option we can just put some kind of name let's say it's our windows 2012 instance or something whatever if you want to add more tag regarding environment or any uh, kind of department belongs to this 
infrastructure you can add and this is the another important step because this security group is nothing but software defined firewall we need to configure it properly so that we will be able to rdp in our system because if we have not created the proper security group we will not able to access it whether in the case of let's say we want to make it a web server we need to make sure we have to open port 80 and 443 if ssl is going to be installed on that server so we can create this security group if you already have some existing make sure you can add uh, 3389 port which is the rdp port tcp 3389 which which will be able to, uh, uh, which which will allow us to rdp to this instance so i am here i am going to create a one uh, security group here you can add mm, whatever the name you want i am just adding windows and nothing windows rdp sg windows rdp sg because i am not going to make it as a web server i just want to do sss so rdp is sufficient for us today and just reviewing all these as we are going to select it to micro and this and the instant detail storage port everything this is another important step for the security purpose even this is not a linux server and we are not going to ssh but to retrieve because for the rdp we need a username and password so to retrieve the password we need to have a we need to generate the key pair i don't have right now in this account any key pair or in this region so i'm going to create a new new key pair right now just adding a name of windows server windows server and it is going to download that pem file to my local system you can see right now it is grayed out i am not able to click and launch until unless i will download the key pair then yeah here it is giving me now the option to launch the instance so i'm going to click launch the instance it is going to take my request and as it's a windows server it will take couple of minutes i believe around five to six minutes it will take oh sometime the glitch i found in the console as it's a new user experience so it may happen so i just refresh and i believe we are able to see yes our request is in process and it will take couple of minutes to fulfill and this is the information aws is providing us about this instance it already got the ip public ip which we will use to rdp to this instance this is not a static ip this is the ephemeral ip but for our purpose this is okay for today meanwhile it is spinning i just i would like to talk about limits so limits is something that which will help us to stay under under the mm, under the infrastructure which we 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 required if we require the more infrastructure we need to request limit increase because there are multiple reason or purpose one amazon also don't want that someone abuse their infrastructure by spinning up as cloud is giving us the uh, almost infinite scalability so amazon also want that no one will abuse their infrastructure uh, another thing is from the billing perspective amazon also want don't want that unknowingly someone spin up that infrastructure and the huge bill will will come so limit says that purpose so with the new account you can see most of the things right now at a zero because uh, because we need to specify the requirement like why dedicated host required or if we really want to run the dedicated host we need to know that how much capacity is required because it is not the cheaper one it's the expensive one so this is also a new page let's explore something let's see what's under running instances so here we can see that for all the all standard instance type which is mentioned under standard there are a series c d h m i r t z and we have as we spin up for the t2 micro so we have the capacity right now available for 32 vcpu i can spin up 32 instance of t2 micro for the same windows server uh, or it can be justified in the number of vcpus according to the instances spin spinning in the account 
and most of these are the soft limit which can be increased on the request on the case to case basis and we need to reach out to amazon support so let's see where are we at our instance so i believe it took only a two minute two to three minute and it is showing the status check for uh, uh status check green so we we are good to go to spin or uh, sorry to rdp to this instance so before doing the rdp we need to retrieve our password so retrieving a password just because we have downloaded our pem file or that uh, key file so we need to use that to retrieve our password so by selecting this instance just click on action and the first option is connect once you click on the connect it will ask for the get password uh, it is giving us the option so let's click on the get password and then it is asking that as we have created this windows server dot pem key we can even copy paste here or if uh, we can select it from here to i have downloaded it in, in this folder so so it is filled just click on decrypt password and this is showing our password so i am just going to copy and storing it in, in my notepad we can retrieve it many time but it's a temporary password and it's we can change it to make it our own customized password by uh, rdp into the this instance we can download the remote file if you want just click on that it will download the remote file remote desktop that file or or you can copy the public ip from here just open the remote desktop connection and enter this uh, enter this ip and then click on connect so by default the username is administrator it, uh, okay so let me type my username and then the password which we copied from the uh, from that dial dialog so i'm just entering this password and username and let's see yes so it is ready and i am able windows server 2012 instance running on aws cloud in singapore region yes now we are here with this instance the server manager will open we will able to see it is having a 1 gb of ram 30 gb of hard disk and maybe i believe available space will be around 8 7 to 8 gb rest 22 gb will be occupied is occupied by the operating system itself as it is mentioning some information about this operating system i think you you will get a fair idea about how to spin up the windows instance how to retrieve the password and if you want to change the password you can play with the operating system level user access you can change you can add user assign some permission and that will be good to go so once you are done with that you can uh, you can terminate this instance by clicking uh, on the action or right click by selecting this instance going to the instance state click on terminate and click on and accept that termination message and maybe in few seconds it will be in the termination state right now it is shutting down maybe let's refresh it and see uh, it's shutting down in couple of seconds it will be in the terminated state and all the infrastructure is destroyed or removed from our account and also after terminating the hours will be not counted in our free tier uh, quota so you can play it multiple times spin uh, spin many time but make sure you need to be stay under the free tier quota otherwise for the t2 micro bill will start uh, bill will be started and you need to pay at the end of the month when the bill will generate it so this is the demo guys to create the instance re do the rdp and terminate Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel for more videos about cloud platform and certification preparation. Thank you.